He's our Superman, so he will persevere. So I want everybody to just pray for him, pray for 100% recovery, um, pray for his mental stability, his physical strength. A community putting its arms around one of their own in the wake of tragedy. It all started after shots rang out at a funeral on the south side. Tonight, Nate has an update with the family of the man who was shot, and he joins us live. Nate. Yeah, that's right. I'm Dawn and Scott. The victim here um, is being described as a role model and youth mentor. In fact, right now he still remains in the hospital um, recovering from his wounds. Now, first take a look at your screen. This is 38-year-old Brandon Bradbury, an athlete and avid climber. In fact, Bradbury had been gym manager here at Block 37's first ascent since it opened in 2018. He's trained thousands of climbers and runs their REACH program, which offers free climbing classes to underprivileged youth. His boss says everyone knows him and is rallying behind his family, hoping for a full recovery. Everyone's heartbroken, you know, that it happened, but everyone's also just showing up with immense support, mm -hmm. which is such a beautiful thing to watch. You know, Brandon really worked to cultivate the community here. He's introduced so many people to climbing. Mm -hmm. He's created this, this sense of uh, belonging and support mm -hmm. for so many. And now it's really beautiful to watch that community turn around and wrap their arms of support around him. Bradbury was shot outside Lincoln Sons Funeral Home, 78th and Cottage, August 16th. He was attending his own nephew's funeral, who was also a gunshot victim. Even with police on scene, gunfire erupted as loved ones left the service, heading to their vehicles. Police say the gunman was inside one car before approaching the area and firing several rounds. Detectives found more than 40 shell casings littered in the street. The father of two was struck three times in the hand head, neck, and face. His younger sister Erica here describing the chaos following that service. All of a sudden we heard all this ruckus and people screaming that they were shooting. So we started, you know, we're, it's chaos in the funeral. We thought that people were inside of the funeral home. So we're jumping under the pews and everything like that. Very traumatizing. And then my sister was like, you know, they shot my brother. Thankfully they were able to, you know, save him. Now, the family says Bradbury has undergone various surgeries and will soon begin intense rehabilitation. Um, the family has created a GoFundMe account to assist with medical expenses as well as some housing modifications that will be needed. First Ascent is also going to be um, hosting two fundraisers next month to assist with those expenses. For more details on those events as well as the GoFundMe for Bradbury, you can go to our website at fox32chicago.com. Reporting live downtown, I'm Nate Rogers. Back to you in the studio.